Days after a Weymouth police sergeant is shot and killed, Worcester police officers are threatened by a man charged with breaking and entering. According to police, any type of threat to police is taken seriously. Our Chandler Walsh has the details. Worcester police officers responding to a reported break-in Tuesday are met with threats. Police say Joe Sean Carrion told officers he would shoot them in the head the next time he saw them on the street. It's always concerning when people have specific plans, like they say, I'm going to get a gun and I'm going to shoot police. Lieutenant Sean Murtha says threats to officers can occur in about 2 to 3 percent of arrests. He says the department looks into threats to determine if they're serious. The officers make sure to note the report when somebody says something like that, so if somebody else has an issue with the person, they can look it up and just be extra cautious. Carry on faces multiple charges, including breaking into a home on East Central Street. Police say he refused officer commands and made the threats after he was handcuffed. It's an awful shame that people will say things like that about the people who put this lives at risk every day. People keep making threats like that. You know, I think the cops in Worcester and uh, other surrounding cities will act different. The incident comes the same week Weymouth Police Sergeant Michael Chesna was shot and killed by a suspect. Worcester resident David Fredette says the dangers police face are out of control. There have to be sterner measures in the courts for these people so that a lesson could be taught. Lieutenant Murtha says Worcester police are supporting Weymouth officers and will have a large presence at Sergeant Chesna's funeral. It is a dangerous job and something like this really does remind us of that. So it's easy to get complacent, but we always have to be on our guard. Chandler Walsh, Worcester News Tonight.